Good morning, everybody. It's day two of training with the knuckle boom picker truck or the crane truck. We're just waiting for the truck. <laughs> they needed it this morning for a delivery and it was supposed to be back by now, but I guess it, uh, you know how it is in trucking. Everything takes longer than expected. So we're waiting for the truck to get back and then I will continue picking stuff up and putting it back down. I've got these fancy shades today. They're actually uh, safety glasses. As while I'm up there, I have to wear safety glasses that seal my face because of all the hydraulic oil running through all the lines. If any of it were to uh, leak and spray towards my face, you definitely don't want any hydraulic oil in your eyes. I think the truck is back already, but it's parked up front. Over there. Yeah, it's still parked there. All the way at the end, there's that white truck, that Volvo, right there, and then two red ones beside it, and then a blue nose poking out right behind it. You see it? That's the picker truck. It was supposed to be back by eight. It is now quarter to nine. <laughs> I'm just bugging him. I'm sure that uh, there's always delays and everything. But yeah, so I'm going to get to my training as soon as we get all set up. I'll talk to you in a bit. Hopefully we can get some good footage today. It's a pretty fun piece of machinery to operate. And while I'm walking past here, I'm also uh, going to be getting trained on this trailer. It won't take as long to train me on this as it does on the knuckle boom truck. But you know, the, the front detaches here after it's connected to the truck and then you can literally drive heavy machinery right up onto here. So that should be fun. All right, I'm gonna try to give you guys a look at what I'm doing here. I'm gonna climb up to the top up there.
That's what I did all day. I picked stuff up and I put it down. And then I picked it up again. And I put it down again. Picked it up off the trailer, put it on the ground. Picked it up off the ground, put it on the trailer. I think I'm getting better. I think I'm getting better. My trainer seemed to think that I was doing doing well, or said that I did well anyways. I'm gonna go uh, through some more training tomorrow yet and uh, see where we go from there. I burnt though. My arms burnt, my neck burnt, my face probably burnt, my neck burnt. I said neck, right? Good thing I was wearing a hat and drank lots of water all day, otherwise my brain would have burnt too. Oh, I just feel my neck. It's not that bad. My burns don't usually last that long. I'll be good in the morning. We are going to be training on this, provided it's not, uh, <clears throat> provided they don't use it tomorrow for something else. I need to send it out on a load. Uh, we're gonna be working on the pole truck way over there at the end there. And then we're gonna be working on this. This is the RGN trailer. It's nine feet wide. So in some jurisdictions, some provinces here in Canada, you have to have oversized loads on, uh, oversized load signs on it, just pulling the trailer when it's just empty because it's uh, over dimension. Manitoba, you don't need it. But if you go to Ontario, you got to have that D sign on there. Uh, that's a Canadian thing. In the US, you would need to have an oversized load sign on there with the word oversized load on it. But up here in Canada, the D serves the same purpose. I gotta walk across the yard. I parked my bike up front and we were working out back. That sun is intense and it's supposed to get hotter. It's been a really, really nice summer for riding. Not so nice for the farmers. They need rain. They need rain really well. My phone keeps dinging. Someone really wants to talk to me, but my hands are kind of full right now. So yeah, I want to be sort of like the jack of all trades here. I want to be able to do everything. So whatever they need, I can give them a hand with. I guess the only other thing I'm not certified in after this is uh, I can't drive the forklift. I'm not certified to drive a forklift. Just on our way home now. Figured I'd quickly stop by and give you another look at what uh, what I've been up to here. I just put the putted the bike across the yard. I, I want to let it warm up for a couple of minutes, even though it's so hot out today. I like to have it idle, uh, running slow for just a couple of minutes. But yeah, 3106K. You saw the footage from up there. It was actually a pretty good angle, I think. I had the uh, the camera here strapped to my uh, hard hat. Now we loaded up all these. Tomorrow when I get here in the morning, we're gonna unload these onto the ground here out of the way, and then go and train on the RGN trailer a little bit. But it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It's time to go home now though. It happened. We did it. We hit 10,000 miles. Happy bike and happy rider. She's running great too. Many, many more miles ahead of her for the both of us yet. Does anybody in this house want to see me? Does anybody miss me? Anybody at all? What's that noise? Anybody? Anybody? <laughs> Look at you guys! You thought I didn't know you were there? Come on! Come on! Oh, guys, 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 guys! There's plenty of me to go around. Hey, <laughs> Chevy. Did you miss me? You miss me? I got all sunburned today, man. Oh no, sunburn. Wiener. Oh, wiener. Wiener, where are you going? You're looking for mom? She's not here, man. It's just me. Sorry to disappoint you. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, boy, I feel like I'm a tomato. Okay, well. Oy, oy, oy. Well, my, my neck is uh, definitely a little bit burnt. It'll just turn into a nice suntan. No worries. My arm. 
Looks like I got white gloves. Look at this. I was wearing my gloves up there all day. Man. That looks bad. And look at this, my farmer tan. Wearing a t-shirt all day. Yikes, I tan so easy. And then I look ridiculous and people laugh at me. That's okay. That's why I'm on the internet, because I'm okay with people laughing at me. It doesn't really burn though, I just feel, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put some moisturizer on my tender skin tonight. <laughs> And this is what I'm told, you put moisturizer on. I don't think it's burnt though, it's just really, really brown. I don't know. You can tell which part of me was in the sun today though. Yikes. Are you wiener? You proud of me? Yes, yeah, nice, let's go inside, how's the pool? No! What are you eating? Is mommy all there? No, she's not, but I'm sure you all need to go out. Come on boys. Diesel. I'm just gonna grab a, a Pepsi. I want a Pepsi. Don't judge me. Hey, I said no judging. Pepsi Zero. Pepsi Zero. Because I'm a zero. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. I'm not a zero. I am special. I am special. I was born and the doctor said I was very special. Don't you forget it. All right, you bunch of little piglets. Come on. Come on. Just don't touch the exhaust on the motorcycle, okay? Well, you can if you want to, but I guarantee you they'll only do it once. Should be kind of cooled off already. It's already been like 10 minutes. What a nice day. Like I said before, I've been really enjoying all the sunshine this summer, but we do have to remember our farmers are uh, struggling with their crops here right now. It's, I don't know if we're officially in a drought. I would assume we are. Uh, even our, our municipality here, or our county, has sent out a message telling people to conserve water. So, wow. What is this, California? Please don't be California. <laughs>